this that city life is better than the village life. We have two teams here, the government team on my left and the opponent team on my right. Without further ado, I would like to call upon the Prime Minister from the government team to present the points. Well, good morning to the jury, timekeepers, and my respective opponent's team. I'm the Prime Minister from the government team to discuss this house belief that city life is better than village life. In certain cases, never cross your mind that city life is better than village life. However, there are so many advantages and disadvantages in city life and village life. Also, there is a big difference in the lifestyle with a little similarities. Reality, city life is more comfortable and civilization, as well as there are a lot of changes to developing life. Firstly, in the city life, there is a good opportunity for a young people make them start and life with a high salary because the big companies located in cities. Even though most of them will have preferred to stay in a less stressful village, they had to move to cities due to economic reasons. Here are reasons why city life is better than village life. Then, it's better communication in the cities. Most communication companies have all the equipment installed in cities because of the high population with answers them of good return on their investments. They rarely install communication transmitters in the village which makes the communication boosters from the cities, which are rarely relevant. They therefore have to look for areas with network before they can communicate, which makes the whole process tiring and frustrating. In the cities, communication networks are virtually everywhere, even in the poorest neighborhoods. Moreover, the city has a wide selection of heritage and business opportunities. This is the main reason why most people are abandoning village in favor of cities. The city is specifically a public hub of commercial activities. There is so much more in population in the cities than in the village, which increases the prospect of prosperity. There are many career opportunities for good skilled and unskilled people. Also, the high pollution in cities is very attractive to businessmen and increase changes of business safety. The only viable economic activity with a high herd of safety in the village is farming. However, farming does not work much in their favor since they are just producers. They sell their communities as raw goods to manufacturers, which does not fetch much in comparison to the big corporations that are raking in billions of dollars from processed foods. Thank you. Thank you, Prime Minister, for your points. Next, I would like to call the leader of opponent to present the points. Thank you to the Prime Minister. I'm leader of the opposition team who would like to deny the point of government team. So mm -hmm. my point to deny the, the government team is if you say young people, make them start their life with a high salary because of the high companies, I feel that you're mistaken. Because that because at the village you can make and get more salary. Because at the village we can do our own business, such as having own animal farms, pluck various crops and then sell to the the crops to vegetable suppliers. In addition, there is more business we can do by ourselves at the at the village. The example is processing our own homemade food, handicraft and many more. This is more profitable than working at the city. There is to wait for the end for the end of the mine while profits at the village do not have to wait end of the mine. Even the profit of working at the village is not as much as the profit of working at the city, but the profit but the profit we get day by day and we can collect and save for use in desperate time. Furthermore, the city is always busy and noisy. There are a lot of vehicles and people in the road. Noises come from everywhere. Everywhere. The example is traffic noises, industrial noises, 
construction building noises and noises from your neighbor and living area. However, in village you never need to worry about these noises. Noises. You could get deep sleep at night and enjoy a quiet stroll at daytime. While at the city you couldn't get deep sleep and don't get enough rest because of the noises. If you don't get enough sleep and don't get enough rest, we will feel stressed and not focus at the work we want to do. So this will also affect our daily work. Thank you. Thank you, Leader of Opponent, for your points. Next, I would like to call upon the Deputy Prime Minister from the Government Team to present her points. Thank you to the Leader of Opponent Team for your points. As you mentioned, that noise is almost everywhere, especially in city area, influenced by traversion activity, construction manufacturing, construction work, and for neighborhoods. However, governing and city authorities hold the power to introduce policies that can help reduce noise pollution. The law should limit the amount of noise public and private place to cut noise pollution. The guidelines for environment noise limit and control publication by the Department of Environment in Malaysia to relate party and agency to follow the rule and regulation to ensure a clean, healthy and safe environment for its people. We can suggest you a few methods or way that we can protect or reduce the noise pollution such as wall panels near the road, window shutter in the building, install fence around the office or house, put your block, close the window, change in the door, and others. Although, you mentioned living in a village not to worry about these noises. Deep sleep at night and enjoy your quiet stroll and dead time. It does mean that it is to be safe living in village crime also across everywhere. Besides that, the city generally have well such as transport network system that connect with the all areas of the urban center. The main models of transport include road and rail and pollution. City developers therefore have various alternatives when it comes to transport. They may use public transport or taxi on the roads. They may option for train to travel across the outskirts of the city or they may hop into an aeroplane and go to other cities. There are also bands for walking and riding bicycles. They may drive away, may be well maintained. At the village, the transport network system in the village are limited. If you wanted to go to the city, they have to, want, they have to find a taxi to bring them to the town to get transport to the city. Or if they trust the taxi driver to the city, the cost is very expensive. This road in the village, during the wet session, they become moody. Yes? Where they are building public transport in the city than in the village? Why there are so many public transport in the city? Because those who are working and said they are on transport, they can choose LRT or MRT. It's more easier and faster. It's also the avoid traffic jam. Furthermore, the city have security. City have police brutality 24 hours a day. Besides from that, there are CCTV cameras all over the city, which make it easier to catch cameras and solve crimes. The 999 speed day also accept a faster response rate from the police force, which is very acceptable during emergency areas. Thank you. Thank you, Deputy Prime Minister, for your points. Now I would like to call Deputy Leader of Opponent to present her points. from the government. I'm as the deputy leader of the opposition who like to deny disadvantage village life is better than city life. People living in village are healthy, active and moderate in habit that people living in city. A part of that they also do a lot of many active activities such as farming, rearing animals and fishing. For example, in my village, most of the residents raise animals such as chicken, cow, duck, goat, and other. This shows that the village are healthy than the people who live in the city because the business in the city make them have enough time to take care of their nutrition and health. Then the village 
also have many nutrition from with high protein fresh can be found such as fish chicken vegetable and fruit and it is easy to find in the village area now in the city most of their food is frozen and they marketed in the supermarket not only food such as meat and frozen fish but also cake and be frozen for example donut crepe and many more in my opinion opinion it is less fresh because it has been stored in the freezer for a long time before market in the village it is easy to get fresh food because it is from the fishermen and farmers from himself in in addition the village also has fresh air surrounded by green plants suitable for the, those who want to climb down and breathe fresh air in the village well in the city there is a lot of dirty air caused by factory and public vehicle as well as themselves the firms of factory and vehicles flying in the air can cause many diseases such as asthma heart attack and various dangerous diseases can be found in the city most of them house have stress especially those who was office work in the need to dangerous Thank you, Deputy Leader of Opponent. Now I would like to call upon the last speaker from the government team, the government whip, to present her points. Thank you, Leader of Opponent team, for your point. Among its benefit are the public amenities. In the city, is the education system in city are better with mosque, teacher, and excellent facility. Besides, there are so many hospitals and medical facilities throughout the city with different patients such as surgeon, doctor, nurse, and psychiatrist. For the more the response of of medical teams during emergency is a step to good communication and transport infrastructure to compare to realize that the last school are used usually to the certain to the certain because these teachers are ready to take care of to the village. City law, there are bank, shopping center, restroom, and others. In this there are many entertainment and reality space in city. There are also reality facilities such as museum, parks, and zoo, where people go to live and enjoy in in Bali life, they are very fit spot of in, entertainment which making that in the very story and story. So a creation of city life and family life are uh, in high contrast with another they have the all different uh,
lot of money to get out. In the village only, so why the biggest just as boom guy? We need a lot of passenger and the the there they can share money. The village also has a era of land and most of the village so there there are two cultivates of fresh and vegetable and food from them from the cell from the from the cell or for cell and best of the of all the village have a king of fruit that is a regular to them. However, there are also village near the river and they make the most of the river to raise fish, coal and fishing. Was other than in the river said that when there is a waiting fresh most of them chose or to work together to all the we have to have itself most was from McCathery vision from outside that if a lot of fit for me it a lot of serving differently in a in the village that push me thank you thank you opponent for your points now both the teams are given two minutes to present on the reply speech you should start from the government team. Your two main starts now. I think sure. the government team. I think city life is better than living life because there is big advantage of city life than the village life. There are more opportunities in city. According to city store, https slash junior.wordpress.com. The main difference, there are more opportunities for people to process in their life. There are a lot of facility for people in the city and they have more opportunities for making money. Besides that, many parents want to be able to prepare their children with the, with the best education. So, they prefer quality education in the city area. The same way research give abandons, children living in the city can get a good job education because there are good government, government and private hospitals in the city to get treatment. In the city, have bigger shops in a young world like shopping complex, banks, office, cinema, restaurant, and hospital in and around the city. So people can let a comfortable and achievable life in the city. So my last word, we have to choose living in the city because they have advantage to live in the city. City gives people to to the chance to find a good career and have the facility the most families need. Thank you. Thank you, Governor Team, for the reply speech. And last but not least, I would like to call uh, the opponent team to present on the reply speech. Your two minutes starts now. Thank you to the I'm as leader of opposition team would like to say there are more advantage living at the village. The example is there are more privacy in the countryside. There is good there is a good chance your nearest neighbor won't be directly next door. You may not even be able to spot their name, their home at all. In addition, you can you can have have a bigger have a bigger garden. If you always want to grow your own food or have more space for children or pets, this is a huge benefit. Besides that, besides that, you will be able to to own pets you may have always want but couldn't have only in a city. 
cows, buffalo and horse are all examples of this. You could even keep hens and have your own free range eggs. And the most beautiful thing is you be able closer to the various wildlife of the area and to walk in areas of natural beauty. While city dwellers usually suffer higher levels of stress than than those to those who commit in for for work or live and work in the country. There is a reason living and, and working in the city is called the red race. By decreasing the number of people surrounding you, you could you could become more relaxed. Therefore, you can be fully or semi semi self sufficient. You could grow your own food. If you if you do decide to keep animals, you may also be able to sell produce from them. The example is milk, honey and honey and to create more thank you. Thank you opponent team for the reply speech. We then we are at the end of the debate presentation. As we can with what we heard from both the teams, living in city, either living in village, both has the positivity and also the negativity. However, those who live in the city, the cost of living definitely is more higher and the amount that they are earning is equal enough as those who are living in the village. Although the earning is less, but the cost of living is more cheaper. Therefore, it is an individual's decision to choose which is a better life. Thank you.